So, before we begin using the printer, you need to make sure you've downloaded the software onto your computer or laptop. You then insert the USB into the back of your computer or laptop and also the power cable. You can see I've aligned the paper correctly. You do this just by adjusting the black bits at either side of the paper to make sure it is the right size. If you turn it on at the back, once it is all ready and ready to print, the light on the top will turn green and now you know it's ready. And while my click and drop, when you log in, it will look similar to this. Um, I've connected mine to Shopify, so it might look slightly different. But if you do just go on settings, label format number two, choose label format. It's really important that this is six before because that's the size of the label printer. There is additional options like generate custom decoration, but I don't have any of them. Um, I just have it standard and then if you save it, it will automatically do this by default so you don't have to do it each time when you log in. So your new orders, you can go through them manually or you can just search for the person you're sending your parcel to. So if I just go ahead and select that one, select it, pop in the weight of the item, um, apply posted go. So the weight is 55 and it's a large letter. My service I'm going to be using is Royal Mail First Class. And then apply, pay and generate labels. So you need to confirm that you're not posting anything which is restricted. And then you also do log into your PayPal here. It is easier if you save your password because it does just make it that bit quicker. Um, so continue. And then what it'll do is it'll download your um, label. And on here it just goes up here. So it will be that one. And then if you just go on file and print, um, select the printer at the top so you've got the mum in. And then it's really important on here that you change the paper size where it says other. So I changed mine to 4B6, which is what everyone will do with this printer just so it does print on the label printed correctly. And then if you just press print and it will go ahead and print the label off on the printer. So once you're ready to print and you've changed the size to 4 by 6 you've selected the right printer, all you do is press print on your computer or laptop. The light should still be green on the top. So I'll just press print now and my labels will start to print.